Hello, I am author and freelance writer Zachary Fennell. This week my family endured a great loss with the passing of my aunt Ellen Washerman. Fun fact, the webcam I used to record these videos was a gift from Aunt Ellen. So it's her that made our connection possible. My goal of today's video is to have my aunt's cancer story, the story of a fighter, be a spark of inspiration to others. Aunt Ellen passed away indirectly from cancer, specifically leukemia. Her actual COD was graft-versus-host disease. However, if it wasn't for the leukemia, my aunt wouldn't have had the bone marrow transplant that led to the graft-versus-host disease. But let me stop myself before I get too far ahead. My aunt actually had two battles with le of leukemia. If I recall correctly, she was first diagnosed with leukemia in early 2013. Obviously, she went on to win this battle, having a successful bone marrow transplant in all. Unfortunately, she's once again diagnosed with leukemia months later. This is where I find my aunt's story inspirational. Doctors gave a grim prognosis in January. The chance of Aunt Ellen beating this leukemia was around 20%, I believe. She was already receiving paperwork about entering hospice. Aunt Ellen would have none of it. I mean, she was pissed when she received the paperwork. Probably the angriest I ever saw her. Despite the low odds and the discouraging paperwork, Aunt Ellen kept fighting. She entered an experimental program which she was eventually booted out of because she wasn't shown enough improvement. But she kept fighting, finding another treatment option. In July, we received great news. Aunt Ellen beat the dooming odds and entered remission. The next step would be a bone marrow transplant. This bone marrow transplant led to the aforementioned and fatal graft versus host disease. I know this leaves Aunt Ellen's story without your Hollywood happy ending. However, her story is not one without victories. Personally, I find the most amazing victory for Aunt Ellen was how she lived her final months. She didn't let the cancer change her. She kept her upbeat attitude. She made the most of her time, taking a trip to Laughlin, Nevada in March, celebrating her birthday in April in San Diego, California, and just doing whatever she could. Rather than sitting around waiting to die, she lived to the best of her abilities. That is quite commendable. To anyone going through cancer, I want to encourage you to take my aunt's lead. Live for each day. Be hopeful and pursue any chance, no matter how small the chance might be. Make the most of the life you have. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave comments below sharing your own loved one's stories with cancer. For more from me, subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking here. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye.